To be honest with you, when Trap Boy Freddy say what he's saying, I can't sit here and get mad at the man like that, bro. I, I did videos about this already, but I'm gonna go deeper on this one, bro. This one, it gotta be one for the haymakers, bro. Trap Boy Freddy ain't the monster here. Trap Boy Freddy is actually the cool one. When you think about it, bro, Trap Boy Freddy is, is just speaking his piece, bro. Everybody want everybody to be mad at anybody who said negative things about Mo3. First of all, Mo3 is one of the most phenomenal rappers, not just from Texas and hip hop in general. Mo3, rest in peace to you, but I'm gonna say some truthful things. If you are most Mo3's family and friends, this is not a disrespect video at all. It's me being respectful to the um, Trap Boy Freddy situation because he's speaking some truth, bro. Trap Boy Freddy, now, he said he ain't gonna stop dissing Mo3 until he do it for the same amount of times that Mo3 dissed him. Now I'ma fall back and say this, bro. I remember the back and forths. Mo3 attacking this man Trap Boy Freddy non-stop, bro. It was cringe, bro. It was weird, bro. It was almost sucker dude type ish, bro. We 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 don't want to say nothing because when our favorite rappers die and this and that, it's unbecoming of us. If we look now, I'm not gonna diss nobody after they die, but you cannot stop me from speaking on the truth. Now, I was one of the few people who loved Mo3 and kept saying, fall back from it. Become friends with Trap Boy again. Because I remember them days seeing Trap Boy, Freddy, and Mo3 together years ago, bruh. I remember these dudes speaking cool. I remember people like Sean Cotton trying to make peace between them. You know, all them back and forth videos in the 2015s and 16s. I remember Sean Cotton telling Mo3, you fighting another case. Should you stop having beef with so many people while you fighting these cases? And, and Mo3 was stubborn, bro. Mo3 was a stubborn person, but he's stubborn like me. I know. I know, gang, because I'm stubborn. You can't tell me what Mo3 was doing out here was right. Majority of the time when I'm being stubborn, I need a cool, level-headed person to bring me back to earth. To let me know, nah, gang, you the one who's wrong, bro. I don't need somebody to be around me to gas me up and they get it, they get in hype when I'm beefing with X, Y, and Z because they make them look better. It brings them more money or attention, whatever it is, bro. That's sucker dude type ish. Trap Boy Freddy been trying to make peace with Mo3 for the longest. That's something I do know. I'm plugged into and there's receipts on it nonstop. Facts after facts. Bro. Mo3 was trying to bully Trap Boy Freddy, and that's the truth. Mo3 was trying to bully Yellow BZ too. BZ was out here trying to be in his peace for peace. Now, was BZ bullying um, Roy, Roy Lee? I, I, I would say so. We can, we can do a separate video on Roy Lee and Yellow BZ because I'm picking the Roy Lee side. You know what I mean? Because Yellow BZ did some sucker shit, ish, educational purpose, allegedly. But we, we back on this right here, bro. Mo3 was the bully when it came to Trap Boy Freddy. Since I was younger, all my life, I was told to stand up to the bully. I was always told to not let the bully keep pushing you, to push back. When was Trap Boy Freddy supposed to ever push back? And I'm not speaking on anybody killing anybody, educational purpose. Because for all I know, I'm not the police. We don't know who killed who, and we're going to leave it at that. But we are going to speak on musically and respond videos or whatnot. Why are y'all mad that Trap Boy Freddy got this after this? I'm not mad. I did a video saying he should chill and get back to the music, but I'm speaking from a fan perspective, meaning that I want to see Trap Boy Freddy get back in the booth and give us nothing but haymakers. But if you want to speak on a man that kept hurting his career, kept making fun of him, we know behind the scenes that Trap Boy Freddy got shot. And less than a week and a half after getting shot, he also got in a car accident. We do know this. Mo3 made fun of both occasions. Bro, he, 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 he didn't even want to slow down, bro. Mo3 just kept pursuing it, bro. Mo3 had a vendetta, bro. That vendetta looked filthy, bro. He wanted to see Trap Boy Freddy out the way. I didn't hear none of the masses saying that Mo3 was wrong. I didn't hear any. I seen a lot of people laughing at Trap Boy Freddy. I seen people calling him a whack rapper. He's Yellow Beezy's flunky. Bro, that hurts you, bro. When you a rapper and dudes doing the videos that Mo3 was doing about Trap Boy Freddy, it don't only make you want to need to do a response on Wax, but behind the scene ish need to happen, bro. Like, when a dude just using his big boy pulpit, pulpit to, to, to take advantage of your name, your legacy, I, I don't expect anything less. I don't, gang. 
Now, this is a clear case of if you ever love Mo 3, then love him now and sit back and know it was Mo 3's fault in all the situations he put himself in. Mo 3 allowed himself to be tricked away from his bag, bro. Now, a lot of people like Rainwater and them is saying, um, Trap Boy Freddy won't come outside. I'm hearing a lot of things. But what I needed to hear was, what did you tell the Mo 3 when he was beefing with these guys? It looks good for you to be on video now and doing all these interviews on Say Cheese and Real Life Productions and all these other, you know, shout out to them content creators too, by the way, that I just name dropped. But what about you, folks? What was you saying in Mo3's ear? Was you letting Big Dog know that he in the wrong? That he need to fall the F back right now ASAP? Did you let him know any of that? So the gravity of the situation got out of hand and none of you dudes stepped up to Mo3 to let him know how, what foul things could happen to him. I hate to say it, but Mo3 got himself killed. He did. Y'all don't want to hear the truth because y'all going to try to paint the picture and make me a bad guy. But Mo3 absolutely got himself stained out the way. I don't know who, who's involved in his death or who did what, but I do know one thing for certain is a lot of the death needs to be blamed on Mo3, and that's for damn sure. Mo3 needs to, if he could be alive right now, he needs to say take self-accountability. Just like when I, when I hit myself playing around too much and your mom look at you, your mom go, I'm not going to hug you and kiss you for that. It's your fault. Then I tell you to stop running in the house. Look at you now. Then I tell you to stop running. Well, Mo3 needed that individual who was like mama or like dad. And I told you to stop running in the house. And I told you to leave Trap Boy Freddy and them alone. And I told you to focus on the music only. But when we in too deep like that, the music ain't being focused on. Instead, after Mo3 death, you seeing people talking about, oh, Mo3 killed somebody before. Mo3 did that. So based on what y'all telling me about Mo3, should I be sitting here feeling sorry for him? Based on how you dudes is trying to level up Mo3 to be this big bad wolf and killer, should I sit back and make Mo3 look like that type of, you know what I mean? The big boy talk should be there for me saying that for him too? Nah, nah. I'm going to say the other truth. Mo3 lost his life because Mo3 was doing janky promoter type-ish. Mo3 didn't want to level up and be a boss today. Mo3 didn't want to walk away from a situation where you could have handled it off cameras. So I'm not saying don't get your stains, don't get your lick back, but Mo3 became uh, 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 the internet guy that's always doing way too much on the internet. That's what he became. Trap Boy Freddy was right. He didn't do a lot of responses. Trap Boy Freddy barely was on the internet like that. We do know that. He had a real interview with uh, Vlad TV, I remember, and in that interview, he talked about how his stepdad is Mexican and how he's connected with X, Y, and Z. You know, we 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 learn a different side of Trap Boy Freddy. So when I see Trap Boy Freddy's doing these songs now, I, I used to be the one saying Trap, chill, and make the regular music. But you know what? I'm gonna fall back, bro. If Trap Boy Freddy want to keep dissing. Mo three, even though he know the repercussions, I'ma let him do it, bro. Why wouldn't you, bro? Because where was my videos telling Mo three to leave Trap Boy Freddy alone? You know what I mean? Where were your videos at? All you folks who want to get mad, where were you, bro? Where, where were you trying to make peace between both dudes? Y'all was nowhere. Who am I to tell this other grown man not to say this and that? Because when you sit back and listen to Trap. He got anger in his heart even after the death of Mo3. So you can tell certain things happen behind the scenes that we're not obligated to know. So stop faking it like you know. Certain things like now some of us, we got people who's from Texas who connect to us. I don't want to go deep on that because it's indictment season. Them feds ain't joking. So I'm going to pretend I don't know nothing. But with Mo3 situation, fam got to sit back, bro. His family and his people and them got to be like, what did we do? Or anybody else to talk to this man. And, and, and he should have been thinking with his other head than the other head and going to that old girl's house. Because they, they had to drop on you, bro. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody got to drop on all of us. But why would you go to old girl house, bro? You in this deep war you in right now. And you thinking with your other head. Mo3 is a lot of accountabilities that need to be taken, bro. Mo3 put himself in a way to get educational purpose hurt. And now people mad at Trap Boy Freddy when it's clear to me, y'all picking sides. I pick no sides. I got no anger towards Mo3 or Trap Boy Freddy. I listen to both artists. Of course, Mo3 more because Mo3 got bigger hits. But Trap Boy Freddy, he cool in my book, bro. Like, you dudes is picking sides is weird to me. Trap Boy Freddy is right. Y'all... Y'all binging on his Instagrams. Y'all trying to get it shut down. Like, what, what, what? He hurt your boy? He hurt your people? 
You people got a card in this now? Y'all invested into this now? Nah, this ain't got nothing to do with none of y'all. So Trap Boy Freddy, keep getting your money, gang. Keep doing what you're doing because at the end of the day, folks don't want to hear the truth. Mo3 got himself educational purpose out the way. He made himself a stain. And we need to look at each other in the eye and say, yeah, old boy stained himself out. He out here now and he gone. And it's unfortunate. Rest in peace to Mo3. I ain't going to be fake like I... Don't miss him. I miss Mo3. I miss his music. I miss his vibrations. He had a powerful voice, powerful song. But where are you people who loved him so much? Where where were you? I remember Tay Rock have something battle rap. He liked to say, where were you? Where were you folks at, bruh? It's, it's hidden agendas to me over here, bro. And it's clear as day. People be picking and choosing. At the end of the day, I got to say for what it is, bro. This ain't going to look good. and ain't going to be... You know, the way that you want it to be, bro It's not Just let it go This is life This is the cards that we're dealt with Every day I say that We're dealt with certain cards We just gotta learn how to strategically get out of it Rest in peace to Mo3 Salute the Trap Boy Freddy Y'all hit that like button Hit that notification bell Come rock out with the most winningest team out here, man I Smoke Hip Hop Live Love your family Love your kids And stay blessed, gang